What's up, kimchi lovers? For today's video, we thought we'd take you back to Hyde Park. It's just a short drive from the city center, and it's a beautifully diverse neighborhood, home to the Museum of Science and Industry and the University of Chicago campus, also home of former President Barack Obama, among other famous people. A great way to start your day here is taking a little stroll in their downtown area. It has lots of charm, interesting architecture, and fun shops to check out. And of course, you want to enjoy a hearty breakfast at Valois, one of the oldest cafeteria-style restaurants in the United States, established in 1921. Make sure to bring some cash and an appetite. I promise you, you won't leave hungry. Yeah, this is Mazinger. This is a super robot that I used to watch a lot when I was a kid. So in Puerto Rico, they used to show anime in Spanish. And at the time, I didn't know it was anime, but I watched a lot of it, so Mazinger. He's awesome. And uh, today, we're at Valois, and it's mainly known for being a restaurant where Obama used to visit and order food and stuff. So today, we decided to come. It's lunchtime, but we're going to get breakfast. What do you get? So I got, it's very basic, scrambled eggs, hash browns, and sausage. I got the ham and cheese omelet. Ham and cheese omelet, hash browns, and... I, I don't know what that is. I think that's a biscuit. Yeah, I think I got it because I, I was like, hey, do you guys got biscuits and gravy? And he's like, no. And that's the closest. They, yeah, and then they were like, hey, do you want wheat bread or white bread? And I was like, wheat. And they gave me this. But I guess there was some kind of miscommunication somewhere along the way. But hey. It's loud in here. I get to well. try it. Yeah, it's loud in here. <laughs> I get to try it. The sausage is what looks the most nice to me, so I'm gonna grab a piece. I really like sausage, especially breakfast sausage. <laughs> it has that familiar sausagey taste. Try it by itself. Good? Yeah, it's basically an omelet. I'm fine with that. It tastes good though. You get like the nice eggy flavor. <laughs> That's a huge omelet. I like that we came for the classics. Yeah. Let's uh, cut into that big ass yeah, Chipotle yeah. size omelet. Yeah. Okay, let's see. Let's see. That's a solid omelet. Yeah. Can't go wrong. Exactly. And Maria, true to her word, she put hot sauce. Always. <laughs> You always eat hot sauce. So what is it? It, it kind of tastes like cornbread. I thought it was like a biscuit, but it tastes like cornbread to me. And I actually like putting jam on my cornbread. I don't know if you guys do that, but I really like cornbread with jam. Valois is one of those few places where time seems to stand still. Many great minds, scholars, and politicians have passed through here. And it's so comforting for every generation to be able to experience it and get a taste of it. I hear some reggaeton over there. <laughs> <laughs> I heard something like that. So what do you think of the food? It was really good. Uh, yeah, I liked it. It's, uh, it's very I, homey. It's Yeah, it's very homey. It, it's not anything that's going to like uh, be super artisanal or anything like that. But it's very homey. Uh, I like it. It's familiar. Yeah. So it's like when you think of, oh, I'm going to go to a diner. I'm going to order breakfast. Yeah, it's like the golden pancake house or yeah. like, like the ones what, that we have You know what home. to expect. You're not getting anything. Yeah. Not the ordinary, or so I yeah. appreciate that. Well, so far we really like Hyde Park. We might move here. Yeah. <laughs> we, might move here. we say that about every neighborhood we visit. Yeah, so, like, and then we look at uh, pri home prices. My friends like, like Ugh, we okay, can't we can't it. afford this. <laughs> we can't afford anything, really, in Chicago. But maybe uh, when we hit it big on YouTube. <laughs> Another important stop is the DuSable Museum of African American History, dedicated to the study and conservation of African American history, culture, and art. It was closed when we stopped by, but they're reopening free of charge for Juneteenth. 
So mark your calendar, because we certainly did. Our backup plan was to not have a plan at all. <laughs> Sometimes it's best to let a place surprise you. And admittedly, we like to keep things simple, especially on a Saturday. How about you guys? Before you know it, it's lunchtime and you happen to stumble upon a true neighborhood gem. And in our case, that was Medici. In 1962, a guy named Hans Morsbach bought the Medici Gallery and Coffee House for the bargain price of $1,400. Talk about how things have changed. In the beginning, they just sold art and coffee from their tiny shop and eventually added pizza and hamburgers. Over the years, they have evolved from being a hippie haven, a student hangout, and a late night spot for Southsiders. Most importantly, the food is still good as always, which is why we're here. Yeah, so they were telling us that that statue that they have here actually turns. So like you'll be looking at it one moment and it'll be facing a different direction. And it's because it goes with, like it faces the minutes on the clock. So when it's at, I guess like 10 minutes, it'll point in that direction. 30 minutes, it'll point in another direction. What you're having? Sorry, lemonade. It's been a while. Let's see it. Yeah. Oh wow, it's nice that you can actually see the strawberries in there. Yeah. Oh, long spoon. I like those. Oh, it makes it as much. You can actually taste the, uh, the, like the strawberry strawberries. and the lemonade. Look at this bird. It's ridiculous. Yeah, it is ridiculous. <laughs> I got a white lasagna like I've never seen that before. And I was like, wow, that's interesting. I want to try that. You never had that? No, I've never had a white lasagna, so that's very interesting. It has, it has bacon, which I've never seen a lasagna before. That would be my first time trying a lasagna with bacon. But yeah, let's cut into it and see what it looks like. Wow, look at that. That looks beautiful. It does. <laughs> I'm gonna dig in right now. It has green, so it's a salad. Yeah, it has green, so it's healthy. <laughs> Nice creamy texture. Oh wow, that's fantastic. Like it has a very cheesy creamy texture. And the bacon, you get that nice porky bacon flavor. That's really good. I like it. It's delicious. Wow, these sun dried tomatoes are really nice. They have a little chew to them, and they go really well with that marinara. Massive, massive burger. It's like overflowing from the bun. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie, I'm kind of intimidated. <laughs> Piled on high, look at that. <laughs> Should I cut it? I was just gonna grab the whole thing. Yeah, yeah just grab the whole thing, because that's massive. I took a bite of that massive ass burger. <laughs> I mean, we're in a fancy place. Worst comes to worst. Knife and fork it. Mm. Ah, I said fork it. The burger's nice and well seasoned. And the onions are perfect. I like it. <laughs> you look like I have a hard time biting into it. Mm. What about the bread? Is Because it, it doesn't look like, it looks like ciabatta. No, it's nice and fluffy. It reminds me of that, um, Serbian bread, like mm. sumon, but different. Awesome. Mm. You can't leave this place without checking out their bakery next door. But we highly recommend that you grab your favorites earlier than we did because they run out of a lot of their popular pastries. Dude, I don't know, maybe some soul taco? Maybe. Chorizo burrito. We couldn't resist stopping by Soul Taco. That place is good, people. And we found so many interesting eateries in the area just like that. So we'll definitely be coming around here more often. We had a hard time choosing, but finally settled for their kimchi burrito, 
their spicy pork munch wrap, and some bulgogi dumplings. Hope you enjoyed this little glimpse into Hyde Park and make some time to explore it for yourselves. Thank you so much for watching, and as always, catch you in the next one.